in this session let us discuss about load characteristic basically external characteristic and internal characteristic most of the times directly question they may not ask of course they ask it in uh, gate okay so like you know load characteristic normally people try to remember this okay so what is meant by what is the purpose of load characteristic simple what is that like you know uh, in order to divide x a r and x a l this is required okay how it is uh, going to help us that is going to be not for uh, this session for detailed session okay so this is going to be field current this will be vt armature current is going to be constant normally alternator this will be full load current only why alternator will be in full load current or voltage regulation of alternator for example voltage regulation of alternator will be decided from no load voltage to full load voltage not like you know no load to any load voltage why because diversification factor is high okay so we discussed in voltage regulation of transformer also distribution transformer load variations are high my distribution transformer can work at half full load also but if you think of power transformer catchment area is more in power transformer once power transformer is connected to two three transformers on one transformer load may be disconnected but another transformer load may be gained so load variation of power transformer is going to be very least if you think of alternator once it is connected to infinite bus all over india anywhere it can supply the power so once alternator is connected to infinite bus there will be no load variations okay so like you know alternator always operated full load so all characteristics are going to be drawn with respect to full load only or voltage regulation will be calculated with respect to full load only now means like you know if if is going ifl or ia is going to be constant how terminal voltage if will vary okay for example this is going to be f and this is going to be excess characteristic okay and this is vt and this is ia okay so magnitude of ia is constant what about the power factor can vary okay for example if it is short circuited if it is short circuited how much is vt zero how much is ef because once it is short circuited vt is going to be zero how much is going to be ef at that condition ifl into xs should be ef in order to produce that much ef i have to supply field current no i have to supply field current no if field current is non zero then ef is going to be non zero if ef is ifl xs so ifl current will flow now when vt is zero if is going to be positive when vt is zero if is going to be some positive it will start from here okay now let us think of for example i am going to means once it is uh, load impedance is zero it's fine now for example resistance reactance okay so lagging power factor let me try at lagging power factor what will happen for example at starting this is zero this is zero full load current will flow so full load current is flowing in this if into x should be f in order to produce that f if should be there now for example i'm increasing resistance and i'm increasing reactance such that point 8 pf is maintained point 8 pf lag is maintained so the moment if i include some value of resistance some value of reactance and the current is constant okay so the moment current is constant if i increase resistance if i increase reactance terminal voltage is going to increase if terminal voltage is increased the lagging power factor terminal voltage is increased ef should be more increased because voltage regulation at lagging power factor voltage regulation should be positive compared to this this particular thing will be more compared to receiving end voltage sending end voltage should be more so it should be more in this field current should be more okay so at lagging power factor it should be like this how to remember i'll tell you okay for example if i connect resistance capacitance at starting resistance is zero reactance is zero this is going to be full load current full load current ifl excess is going to be f is going to be if so it will start from here only now if i increase resistance if i increase reactance impedance is going to be increased field current sorry armature current should be same is a condition so this is increased this is increased impedance is increased terminal voltage is going to be increased terminal voltage will be increased but it is going to be leading power factor 
it's going to be leading power factor in leading power factor receiving and voltage should be less sending and voltage should be more oh, sorry receiving and voltage should be more sending and voltage should be less okay so receiving and voltage vt for example if i include resistance and reactance or impedance vt is going to be increased ef should be reduced getting my point right because see here this is going to be receiving and voltage this is going to be sending and voltage compared to receiving and voltage sending and voltage should be less voltage regulation so it should be less in the sense field current should be less okay now how to remember okay very simple let us think of rated voltage this is rated voltage okay so terminal rated voltage so terminal rated voltage in the sense let me draw here this is going to be F, this is going to be XS, and this is going to be VT. Is going to be rated voltage. Okay, if it is rated voltage, if it is rated voltage, for example, load is lagging. Load is lagging, it is rated in the sense EF should be more. EF should be more in the sense IF should be more. For example, for rated voltage, field current rated voltage is more. For rated voltage at lagging power factor, field current requirement, field current is X axis, field current will be more okay now for example if i think of at leading conditions load connected is leading under leading conditions in order to maintain rated terminal voltage ef should be less so rated voltage leading rated voltage field current is this much rated voltage lagging conditions field current is going to be this much field current should be more field current should be less over okay so in this way we can actually did we remember anything no okay so if you try to remember like you know this is vt this is if and all okay so in the exam tension will come okay so because of that tension you may not be able to recollect the things so don't remember anything just chill like you know in the uh, examination for example if vt is there take v rated compare with field current problem is solved actually an external characteristics and internal characteristics in gear one question came already and load characteristic also one question came okay mostly i may solve or maybe you can go through old gate question because it's proper only properly written okay